If you want to invest in property, I personally believe that there's 10 key skills you should try to master. And skill number seven is to improve your understanding, at least at a basic level, of interior design. And so let me share why this is important and give you seven design power tips that I know are gonna help you. Hi, my name is Tony Law from Your First Four Houses, and I teach people how to build a small property portfolio that generates a great income for them, so they can give up the day job if they wish, because they're now financially free. If this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe to the channel and click that bell notification icon so that you don't miss out on any of the free content that I give you each and every week. So I honestly think today's tenants do expect a higher standard of interior design and, and quite rightly so, to be perfectly honest with you. Take HMOs, for example, also known as multi-lets or house shares. I don't think that there's any doubt that in some areas of the country, there is now an oversupply of rooms. And so if you own an HMO in that area and you want your rooms filled, well, you've got to offer something a bit better than the average, haven't you? Otherwise, you're not, you're not gonna be renting out your rooms. Take this room, for example. I mean, if you saw this advertised on Spare Room, would you dive for the phone? But with just a little bit of interior design thought, you can turn this room into something really attractive that's gonna let straight away. What about this one? There's next to no thought that's gone in here, is there? But choose some great wall colors, attractive fabrics, and stage it with some contemporary furniture, and it immediately looks completely different. Or this one. And don't forget, if this is an HMO, this one room is really where the housemate is gonna be spending most of their time. But if you put some thought into the colors, if you think about the accessories, well, let's be really honest, this is nicer than my bedroom at home. <laughs> so if we're just focusing on HMOs, just for a moment, a well-designed room will mean less viewings because your rooms are obviously gonna be snapped up far more quickly, aren't they? You're gonna be able to get a higher rent. People will pay more for a better designed room. You're gonna have happier tenants. There's gonna be less complaints. Plus, I'd suggest they're gonna look after their rooms a little bit more if they're kind of proud of the way that they look. They'll stay longer, which is gonna be less voids because, well, let's face it, your rooms are the best in town. <laughs> And if we're talking about service, accommodation, holiday lets, hotels, guest houses, or uh, whatever, once again, you can charge just that little bit extra for that kind of boutique, that kind of higher end designer kind of feel. You'll have quicker and more sales via your online booking platforms, which is gonna mean less voids. You're probably gonna get better reviews if it's a bit of a designer place, which is obviously, again, gonna to lead to more sales. Plus, you'll probably get repeat bookings direct with you, rather than having to go through one of the booking platforms, so therefore you're not paying their fee, which is gonna mean higher profits. What about new builds or kind of new conversions? Well, let's be really honest. Most buyers have a quite limited idea when it comes to interior design, don't they? Despite, despite what they might like to think. So make this a really easy decision for them by putting some real thought into the design. Help buyers picture how finished rooms are gonna look. And don't forget staging furniture can be sold on with the house. Okay, so let me give you a few quick tips that I think are really gonna help you here. So my first tip is to put together a design palette before you start work. This doesn't have to be too complicated, but it will make your life so much easier and keep you focused on the colors and the fabrics matching. My second tip is to use a soft sheen paint. Now I know, <laughs> I know I'm gonna be shot down on flames for that, but it's just my view. Uh, I know everybody tends to like the matte finishes, but they are much more difficult to keep clean. Soft sheen is one step down from a flat mat, and it does give you the ability to clean just that little bit more, I feel. My third tip is to look for inspiration online. If you type in contemporary design into Google, have a look at what comes up. You'll see some amazing designs, and they're gonna give you the colors that they've used to create that effect. Check out some of the images on some of the Facebook forums. I always recommend people go and walk around Ikea. Um, Okay, that may not be for everybody, but if you go around Ikea, or if you in particular look at some of their smaller little flats that they kind of 
put into the into these places and go and check out what they've done there it will give you some real design ideas my fourth tip is to check out the adobe color wheel now this is a fantastic little tool that will really help you nail down some complementary colors regardless of the kind of theme or look that you're going for if you want to check out this video here it will give you a little bit more information plus i'll put the, the link for that in the description box below my fifth tip is to always stage your rooms. Honestly, a small investment in staging will reap huge benefits in terms of you're gonna rent it out much more quickly, uh, you can always let those tenants hang on to those uh, bits of staging, or you can keep them and then you can use them the next time you wanna stage that next room. So just do it. My sixth tip is to consider a little bit of training. Now there are some great online courses out there on interior design and some great classroom based courses as well and they can be really good fun. Plus it's a skill that you're then going to have for life. My seventh tip is to get a professional in to photograph the rooms once they're all finished and staged. <laughs> Honestly I've made this mistake before. You will get one chance before those tenants move in and kind of wreck the place figuratively speaking. So make sure you bring in a professional who's gonna light the place properly, stage it properly, and get some really awesome photos. Have you checked out my completely free online property mini course that's gonna teach you how to build a small property portfolio that generates a great income for you without needing to put in big deposits? Click the link here to find out more. 